Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are just having a Monday reset. My Mondays are kind of like my Sundays because I really use Sundays to just be more of like a Sabbath and just like enjoy the day, not do anything, not be stressed out, just like literally eat with friends, relax, do whatever, watch Real Housewives. And so like that's my Sunday. So my Mondays are way more like organize like let's get the day going you know do everything i need to get done blah 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 so that's the kind of day we're having you guys i'm literally sitting in bed in my grout fit i'm editing um honestly i need to be working out but i'm putting it off just a little bit i'm excited though it's just a quick arm day and i will show you guys that once i do that anyway i love days like this i literally am like slick back ponytail is back it's like really bad too but whatever <laughs> um no makeup got the pimples out but like you know i just feel so comfortable like this so that is the day we're having and honestly you guys i'm just feeling like kind of anxious like I don't know I honestly the theme of this week is I don't know what I'm doing with my life like I don't know <laughs> what I'm doing um and it's like fine in the sense of like I believe in God so I'm like you know what you figured out <laughs> like I know he has a plan and everything but I just love days like this because it at least helps me control the things that I can't control like you know just making sure my environment's good and all the things so like that's what I'm doing but I just have like a lot on my mind and so I'm gonna just have a day to myself, have a little bit more of a me day. I'm gonna go either to the beach or maybe to like a lookout point and I'm gonna journal, you guys. I never do this, but I have just like so much in my head and I feel like when you just release it, like kind of like when you're talking to a friend and you vent and you get it out, you know, I just need to like release everything and just figure out like what is going on in my brain, what I wanna do, what I wanna do with my content, like all the things. I think I'm just feeling just really confused and like stressed out because I don't know like who I am <laughs> like not that dramatic but yeah I feel like I'm in such a transition point where like my style is different my vibe is different like I don't know and so when you're trying to show up and do content and all the things that like affects it because you don't have a vision and I also get really mad when I don't okay we're ranting anyway I just I'm just saying like I'm a little confused right now with the content I want to make or like what it not even what I want to make but what it looks like to be honest literally down to like colors vibes themes filters and all the things so hopefully if you guys need a reset this is a little bit of an inspo of just like doing basic house tours but I don't know I love videos like this anyway so Okay, I'm gonna finish editing and then I will work out. I swear I'll work out. I have to work out today. I'm gonna work out. I found somebody I say you don't cross my mind And she doesn't know that your favorite place is still mine I take the long way home Avoid what I can let go I don't always think about you Okay, quick laundry hack for you guys. If you guys want the best smelling laundry ever, like I'm telling you ever, you've got to try this. This is the Diva Wash by Tyler Candles, I believe the brand is. You can get it on Amazon and they also have it in like boutiques in like Texas. I've literally seen it in like a Hallmark, even in California. So like they kind of are all over the place, but Amazon's just really easy to get it at. It's kind of expensive, but I'm going to give you guys a hack because like it is so fragrance, like it's so strong and all you need is legit a capful, you guys, like this much literally a couple drops put that in your laundry detergent dispenser thing <laughs> also i just use regular detergent a little capful of that and that's it you guys you will have the best smelling laundry i i'm obsessed with it i love it i promise you if you use it people will literally walk past you and be like what are you wearing what is that scent like you will get questions you will get stopped on the street okay so i will have it linked down below if you guys are curious this will also make a great gift a stocking stuffer like these are the things you don't want to buy but like you would love to have so again link down below highly recommend 10 out of 10. but sometimes i do Sometimes I drive through all of the streets we used to on First Avenue. Cause sometimes I don't even know where I'm going at first. All of the turns that I had to unlearn. Back to the surface, the feeling of all that we were. I don't always think about you till First Avenue. 
So I'm about to leave my house and go do my quiet time. I honestly don't know where yet, either at a beach or a lookout or somewhere, but I'm packing my bag for whatever scenario and I wanted to show you guys. So I just have this tote bag, which you guys, I'm obsessed with Adrian Bylone, if you know, and she signed it and her husband signed it. I went to like one of their concerts, their free pop-up concerts at a church in San Diego. So I'm using this tote bag. And then, okay, I always bring a Turkish towel with me everywhere, you guys. Like, it is the best thing ever. I've talked about it so many times. I will link everything here down below. But if you guys are in need of a towel, it literally folds up to like a t-shirt. Like it takes up no room whatsoever and it's so absorbent. So anytime, I just have it everywhere because you never know if you're going to be at a beach and you don't even need to live at a beach to have this. Like you can use it for a picnic or just whatever where you want somewhere to sit. Highly recommend. I'm obsessed. Got it on Amazon. Just have sunglasses. I have this big water bottle, which is so disrespectful to me. I never finish it, but it's just nice to just have a nice amount of water wherever you go anyway. So like, I'm not so worried about finishing it. I just need water. And then I have a notepad literally from like TJ Maxx somewhere. Um, I'm bringing my notepad with me. This is the one that I created, you guys, and I'm obsessed with it. I use it all the time. And I'm actually going to do a little brain dump on it um, on the flip side. I actually use here like the plain side I always fold them and then like use that side too and then after that I'm gonna plan my day tomorrow so I'll be organized there and that just like helps me in my mind and then I have my bible some pens and then this is a devotional this is new morning mercies by Paul David Tripp you guys actually ask me about this a lot because I post it on Instagram it's like the best thing it is just daily devotionals and they just have like a little blurb and like some scripture you can read and it always just hits the spot you guys and then this is my bible you guys know this already but i'm obsessed with it this is the she reads truth bible it's so aesthetic and like i just literally love everything down to like how it's laid out it's just amazing and honestly really affordable on amazon too so everything linked but i'm just gonna pack this up and then go to the beach you guys or wherever i still don't even know where i'm going okay here's also what i'm wearing super basic we are not changing out of the outfit like this is just staple i wear this all the time just put on my yeezy dupe slides with socks because i don't even care and then that's it i'm just gonna be chilling in a car anyway so i mean i would wear this in public but that's the fit <laughs> guys i'm actually dying right now so i got some boba so good happy lemon i got matcha latte i always get matcha when i get boba i don't know it's just my favorite but you guys look at this view i like was driving here and everything was fine and dandy why do i choose to eat like really i don't want to know i did that okay everything was great it's fine and dandy you know skies are blue whatever all of a sudden it looks like we are in the mist whatever those movies are where they get snatched up in the fog like so scary and i was like oh my god there's no way especially where i was trying to go i was literally trying to park like on like a cliff thing i honestly missed it i didn't even see it because it was so foggy and so now i'm just parked at a parking lot i'm gonna show you guys my view it's like so hilarious but literally that i don't know if you guys can even see but it's so foggy so i'm literally just facing some plants but i figured i'm already here might as well just still get my quiet time on so i'm literally gonna sit in this parking lot just facing i don't know these random plants i don't even know what it's called and do some reading okay it hasn't even been like 20 minutes but this is a word you guys this book i'm telling you you need it it's linked down below new morning mercies but um today's november 29th so i'm reading and the first thing it says it's like your world is dramatically broken and you're still riddled with flaws, but Jesus is present, gracious, and faithful. And it goes on, so I'm not going to, like, you know, read the whole thing. But essentially, it's just so funny. Like, I'm telling you, like, God is always, like, out here being so timely because even at church yesterday the message was about like the last supper and you know just like how to get a seat at the table and just the message to reiterate that we do not have to be perfect to come before jesus we can come to him with our imperfections like you know just giving him everything laying it at the feet of jesus and you know he accepts that and it's just interesting because something that i've been thinking about a lot that's just like wrestling with my mind is like I just, <laughs> I keep fighting our natural tendencies to be human. I don't know if that makes sense. Let me see if I can break down. But basically it's like, I just get so sad that we're sinners. You know what I mean? And it's just really hard for me sometimes. Like 
to accept God's grace. Like I can accept it. I understand that. Like the free gift. Like yes, we are saved. We're believers. Like I understand the gospel, and I am so grateful for it. And I'm like cashing in. But sometimes I'm just like, why do we do the things we know to be wrong and we do them anyway? Or like, why? Like why are we like this? You know what I mean? Like, and it's so true. This was just another further reminder that it's like it's the sin within us, and that's just like our human nature. Like, sorry, girl. Like, ever since Eve ate the apple, like it just is what it is. And so I think it just like makes me sad. But that can affect you two ways. Either one that could push you away from God because you're like, oh my gosh, like I can't talk to God now. Like, what the heck? Or what it should do is draw you closer to Him because like he knows okay like he literally died for us and like knew that we were going to be this way and like he did it anyway and so it's one of those things where you have to just like or this is me speaking to myself like realize that i'm human realize it's okay i'm gonna have temptations this world is literally gonna scream at me every which way to do what is wrong you know but it's gonna frame it like it's right but knowing the truth it's like i just gotta keep trying every single day and you know, just doing my best. Anyway, I'm gonna be done rambling. I don't know if that makes sense, but like the ver or the Bible uh, chapter they told you to also read to was in Romans, and it just you know it just kicks off with "There is now no condemnation for those in Christ Jesus." And I'm like, that's the whole word right there. I could stop right there because that is just something that I just need to be reminded of. Oh my god, you guys saw that shirtless man? Okay, that's actually something I was talking about with my girlfriend Makita too. We were just talking about like we know why we are the way we are we know where our childhood trauma comes from and all the things how do you move forward like how do you like live a life moving forward and it really just comes down to actually living out the faith that you believe so if you know that you're loved by the creator of the universe and all those things then you have to like live as if that is true and that's the work right there you guys and that's the stuff that's so hard and that's why it's so so important like that's why i really try to read the word every day because I need to be reminded of that. That's why I go to church and all the things. Like, I need to be reminded of that so that I can actually live as if those things are true and not just have it be like head knowledge, but like it really sink into my heart and then like operate in that way. So, anyway, I don't know if that all made sense. Maybe I can unpack that later if you guys have any questions, thoughts, concerns, whatever. Like, put it in the comments. Um, I feel like I have so much to say about all this stuff, but like, that's just kind of what's going on in my head right now and I just think again look at God he just really gave me what I needed to hear it today and yeah my takeaway is just thank you Jesus thank you Jesus for everything like may us never forget how good he is and just realizing that like he knows your heart he knows like how I feel he knows that it literally like, makes me so sad every time I feel like I like suck as a person but you keep going you know so that's it you guys okay i'm gonna drive home because this was such a sad excuse you guys can even see look how foggy it is back there it is so foggy so i'm gonna drive back home finish out planning content and enjoy the rest of my day you guys oh it's been the best day ever i've been loving it so far okay you guys i'm home but i haven't even like gone out of the driveway because I'm turning it the other way around because of my address, but my stickers came for my planners. So basically I ordered more stickers because I actually wanted to put a little branding on the outside of my brown folders. I know this is extra, but I just, you know, if I'm going to do something, I just want to do it right. So, okay, let's just open it. Let's just open it. Whatever. Okay. Wait, let me take my side. Okay. Okay. They did it. They did it. Okay. Here's what they look like. I just got I don't know if you guys can see maybe that's good it's just my name it's literally a circle sticker but imagine like if you had a brown folder I'll probably show you guys actually maybe I'll do a little packaging so you guys can see like what my planners like packaging would look like again I try to keep it really minimal because you guys if you're starting a small business you start to realize how much things add up like this is like 40 cents a sticker and i literally am essentially paying 40 cents for someone to like throw something away you know but i mean i just love cute stuff but you have to really think about like what's worth it especially when you're a smaller business because you can't you know you don't have the luxury of having like large inventory where the price is way cheaper so you really have to take costs into account in order to make a decent profit so it's really interesting but i wanted these because i just thought it'd look cute on the back of the 
envelope and at least have just like a little branding just like something small because i'm really not doing that much i'm keeping it very minimal also for like i don't know just waste sake like everything gets thrown away anyway so i just didn't want anything super wasteful here is a quick overview of all my packaging i'm actually going to give you guys a quick tutorial about what i plan on doing to mail these planners okay let me put you guys in the tripod but okay so basically this is just gonna be how i would do one of them and like there are a few variations but first i would take the planner and put it in this clear plastic thing right here and i'm doing that just so that if anything happens in the mail it doesn't ruin the actual planner you gotta have protection okay then i also have this card which on the back of it has, <laughs> I'm just trying to hold, hide like the promo code, but um, it's just like a nice little thank you card with just my name. I'd put that in it as well. Also, if I was doing this for real, obviously this would not be on this side, but I'm just gonna like fake do it for now. So imagine it was like that side, you know what I'm saying? Then I would put it in this brown envelope and these are so good because Okay, imagine it was stuffed. <laughs> but these are so good because they won't bend during like shipping. And so I actually have these bubble mailers too, which I got off Amazon that I was initially going to use. I love the color of them. They kind of look like a taupey purpley brown. But these are like obviously like way more flimsy. So just in case someone was to rough handle it, even if you tell them like go easy or like fragile, I mean, you know. You just can never guarantee. So I ended up going with these, which I also actually love the look of like craft paper anyway. So the label will go right here. So I would close it like so. And then I would put one of these stickers on it. Oh, these are like good quality. Heck yeah. Just like. And yeah, so when you get it, okay, maybe that's actually good to know that I know that I probably won't put the line right there. Maybe I'd put it a little bit lower or even higher, you know, just so it's not giving a gaping line like that. And then the label would go on here. And then um, I have a, another rendition, like I have bigger planners too. So I actually have like a white box that I would have, wrap it with tissue paper. And then I have these stickers, which say, let's get organized on them. And this is what I would use to seal the tissue paper together. So when you open it, it's like a little present. I'll have the thank you note on top. Then I'll do that. And that's pretty much it. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna do before I unwind is I'm actually going to plan my day for tomorrow. So I actually don't have like a ton of stuff happening just because everything literally is waiting on when these planners arrive, then it's gonna be go time. And I actually just got word from the manufacturer that the paper is supposed to be delivered tomorrow. So then it should happen in the next few days. So again, fingers crossed it's this week. I still have hope, but I'm gonna act like today or I'm planning for tomorrow. So tomorrow is the 30th and I just love my planner you guys. you guys I talk about it all the time but I'm just obsessed with my planner if you guys want to see it more in close detail just go on my Instagram at Davina Doncor and then I have a highlight called planner you guys will literally see the whole process from creation all the way to where we are now almost in production but I just love it because I have a to-do list and then I just have sections for the morning and afternoon but it's not super structured so I can just kind of like figure out where things need to go in my day but I don't need to know exact times and you know all the things I can just write it in I have a section for gratitude because literally it is so powerful your mind when you think of gratitude it only produces more gratitude like that's scientifically a fact so I want some of that in my life and then just notes for anything else that happens in the day so all I know is tomorrow I do have to go to the mall because I've been getting a lot of questions about Abercrombie jeans and so I figured it'd be actually really helpful to do a whole video dedicated to their jeans. I'll literally try on every single pair or every single like type of cut that they have. So I will need to do some prep for that, like buy some jeans and I also do want another pair of the dad jeans. So maybe we'll be getting that at the same time. Um, what else do I have to do? That's when I do. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's how I'm going to spend the night. I might get myself a glass of wine, watch some Bravo, and just relax for the rest of the day. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in my next one. I love you. Bye, guys.